Oh man, so many boxes to choose from. What are we going to pick today? Uh, hmm. Twilight Wanderer? Boom, Twilight Wanderer. We're going to open this thing up today. I've got a few boxes of Twilight Wanderer, actually. I took a poll on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, it's at Lockdown51. Did a poll of all those boxes, and you guys chose some Twilight Wanderer, which I'm glad you did, because I've got extra of them. So we're going to open this one up today. Uh, I've heard there's some pretty cool foil stamps in this one uh, that we can find. And, of course, we're going to be still searching for that Uber Rare, that nice Uber Rare. So let's uh, open this thing up and see what we can get. Got all this like extra plastic on it. I got one from Amazon and two from eBay. And the ones from eBay didn't have all this on it. It makes it look like pink, but the box is actually red. This thing's on here tight. Holy cow. Nice and sealed. No tampering here, I hope. There we go. And look at that. It's got more wrapping on it once we even get that plastic off. Ah, there we go. There's the red. Ah, yes. Twilight Wanderer. Very nice, sharp-looking box. Uh, I don't know what the pink version versus the just regular red version is. I think if there's a difference in the packaging for a reason. Maybe there's a first print, second print. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments below. Uh, here's our nice inserts, which sits kind of funny. I'm sure there's a way to actually do this, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, we're going to do half the box today and half next week, so let's jump in. See what good stuff we can get. Straight away with a nice water sprite. A little Drake. Crappy looking knight. Some freaking bondage. Okay. Black ribbon. Uh, dragon. You know, Drawzil. And there's our rare goddess of passion. Pretty cool. Behind it, Beast Queen in hiding as our super rare. Not bad. Ooh, oh, look at that. We got goddess of passion as a foil stamp straight away these cards feel so much thinner they're like super thin comparatively to what i'm used to well first pack and we already got a promo not a promo but a uh, foil stamp so can't ask for better than that let's see what else we can find here guardian wall of ideas grand cross a nice foil magic stone Oh, very nice. Super rare foil. The unfathomable Adabramili, whatever. He's a Cthulhu guy. He looks pretty sweet. All right. That's, uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> that was our other rare. Oops. Grand Cross was our other rare. My bad. Skipping rares already. Okay. All right. Knight, Fairies, Dark Alice, Wing Sprite, Shadow Wing, Phoenix Wing, uh, Magic Stone. Is that our rare? No, oh, I'm passing our rares. Phoenix Wing is our rare. And behind the Magic Stone, uh, Phoenix Flame of the World. Really cool foil, super rare. I wonder what the story is with this set. Uh, I keep finding out more and more history behind Force of Will. It's got some really interesting history with all the uh, changes in hands the company has gone through and stuff. And you can feel it and see it in some of the sets, the differences in between our night and day sometimes. This is one of those sets that a lot of people like from what I see, but the quality is just not as good. Ooh, a foil common right there. Beastly attack. That was our rare. Oops. That's our rare. Fairy's Memoria. All right, a Memoria card. Nice. All right, Beastly attack is our end card. Next one. Let's keep moving. Send back. Rude Knights. Oh, I'm a little off camera here. Uh, Doppelganger. Ooh, Guinevere, Jealous Queen as our rare. She's a good one to get in a full art foil. Uh, cool looking card. Magic Stone. Ooh, boom, big hit. Let's go. That's the one you want to see. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this artwork, but I I'm sure a lot of people uh, will be for certain reasons. Uh, but this is, uh, what is it, Valentia? Uh, Valentina, Overlord of the Seven realms and this is the full art stamped which is an awesome pull people do like this card so i'm pretty happy with this one should be have some should wow can't talk this should have some value <laughs> okay we're getting some decent uh stamped i like the look of the stamps uh which is why i wanted to get this set and 
like I said, there's some pretty cool pulls you can get in this one that have some decent value. So, and you know what? I found a really good price on the other two boxes. They were like 20 bucks each, which is pretty cheap comparatively to the other price I was seeing around. So I grabbed them. Uh, Joanne de Arc, a Shadow Princess of Purity is our rare. She's a cool looking card. I like her artwork. Uh, a nice Ruler's Memoria foil and an uncommon foil. Sweet. So what do you guys look for when you open Twilight Wanderer, since everybody seemed to want to go through this box? What, what do you guys try to grab in this box? What are your big hits? Rare, Barrier of Shadows. I think this is a good one to get in a full art foil, from what I can remember in my short time looking it up. Ruler's Memoria, another rare. And then a common little whelp drake, little dragon. Bada bing, bada boom. Keep it on the move. Assassin, Yadrazil. More magic, Melgus, Uncommon, Flare, there's our rare Drinker of Death, Eagle. Another rare Unyielding Flames Memoria, and behind it we got a Common Mechanical Sprite. I don't remember seeing any of the Memorias being worth a whole lot in this set, but I, I guess I'll recheck when I go through it in the editing. Alright, a uh, Fairy, Overlord's Baptism as our rare. And a magic stone behind it. Ooh, yeah, she's a cool one to get. Yeah, look at that artwork. Dark Farah, Shadow Princess of Ebony. That is some sick artwork. Nice foil of her. Not the full art, but I'll take it. That's still really cool. Next pack. Let's get another stamped in here. Let's go. All right, Yudrazel, send back. Commandment, da what is that? Danye of Shadows? Interesting. Uh, Holy Ga Ground of the Sacred Beast is our rare. That's a uh, pretty neat work looking artwork too. A little confusing, but I can see it. It's, it's kind of neat. Uh, okay, Wind Magic Stone foil. And behind it, ooh, a nice super rare foil. Vivian, Lady of the Lake. Very cool. Next one. Let's do this. Knight, Pressure, Zealot, Clanmate. Or dragons, Castle Town is our is that a rare? That's our rare, isn't it? Castle Town, glorious Castle Town, uh, light magic stone, and ooh, scorn of dark Alice, common foil. That's some weird artwork. Okay, there we go. Knight protection. There's that dark Alice that we just got. Water sprites, more shadows. Another Guinevere, not bad, not bad. Oh, and a Vivian, not bad, not bad. Behind it, Beast Queen's Guardian Uncommon Foil. That looks like from a show, like an animated show from the art style. All right, last few packs here. Oh, oh, spoiling the end. Fairy of the Lake. Familiar. Yadrazo again. Oh, weird looking mouse, weird looking hair. Final word. There's our rare, Persevel, the Seeker of the Holy Grail. She's a good one to get in a full art as well. Really cool artwork, really like her style. And behind it, ooh, we got a nice demon sword. I'm sure that'll look cool in a stamped version. Behind that, Goddess of Jealousy, foil rare. All right, pretty cool looking. All right, next pack here, ripping the code card. Oopsies, I feel like I haven't really been showing those. My bad, there's one for you. All right, Sprite, demon, dumb looking demon in my opinion. Not great artwork on that one. Ah, uh, Sane Flatter, there's our rare Lancelot, the Knight of the Mad King of Mad... What? Not Mad King, Mad Demon. Uh, kind of crappy looking. Spirit of God Sword as our rare. Very cool. Ooh, nice! We got the Foil of Guinevere, the Jealous Queen. There we go. Very cool. Boom, let's do this. Straight into it. Burn to Cinders. Shadow Assassin. Doppelganger. Roar. Uh, Golden Hind, the invasion ship. All our cards are dropping. The God Sword, Excalibur. Ooh, we got Excalibur in here, another rare. Behind it, our stinky little eagle rare, foil. Boom, there we go. Oh, pull it out. Oh, code card. Boom, all right. Pride of Knights, Unseen Pressure. Blaine the Fairy, Overlord. Oh, there we go, Joanne of the Ark, Shadow Princess of Purity again. Behind it, Change the World Orb of Illusion Rare. Cool looking card, I'd love to get that in a foil. 
Oh, nice! And we've got uh, the foil version of Shadow Princess of Purity. That is really cool. Boom, we're finally, hit finally hitting these foils. All right, two more packs. Let's do this, see what we can find. I wanna get one more stamped and be a happy camper. Otherwise, we're probably gonna have them stack up in the next episode, I think. Eagle, rare. Darkness Magic Stone, cards are falling. Oh, boom, there we go, Little Match Girl. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Stamped Foil, very cool. I've heard this is a was a popular card back in the day, so I'm pretty happy to get this one. It looks great, really cool artwork. All right, last pack. There's the code card. Boom, Clan Mate. Let's do the Fairies and Alice. Boom, Shadows. Uh, Sacred Beast says our rare, not that great. Fire Magic Stone Foil, right behind it we got Beast Queen's Counterattack Rare Foil. Pretty cool looking. All right, here's our pulls of the day. These are my sleeper hits, these swords. I'm thinking maybe they'll hold some value. The Demon Sword, the God Sword, Orb of Illusion as well. And then of course we've got our nice little foil collection here. Uh, she might be worth uh, more than the rest, not exactly sure. Uh, maybe a sleeper hit here. And then we've got Guinevere. And then, of course, we got our three foil stamp cards that we got. Uh, Little Match Girl. And then, of course, we've got a Valentina. Very cool. That's probably our most high, highly val valued card, but we shall see. Uh, price is up on screen now for how we did today. Make sure to stay tuned next week where we open up the rest of the box. So don't miss out on that. Please subscribe. Stay tuned, and we will see you guys in the next video.